Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura and today I have my favorite drugstore items. Now these products are only available at Priceline and the reason what inspired me to film this video in the first place is actually because Priceline is doing a 40% off cosmetic sale. I believe it's on the 6th and the 7th of April. So very, very soon. And I was like, you know what? I haven't done like a drugstore favorites ever. So I'm going to do that for you guys today. Um, bear in mind, this isn't every single drugstore favorite that I've ever had in my whole life. Just because Priceline doesn't stock every single brand. But everything that I show you today should be available at most Pricelines, I hope. Um, so yeah, if you like to see some of my favorites, then just keep watching. Okay, so the first thing that I want to talk about is mascaras. It is the first thing that I see in my giant little tub of things that I've pulled out. Um, so I do have two to show you guys. I do love quite a lot of mascaras. I do love drugstore mascaras over department store mascaras just because you do need to throw them away every few months and to be honest like the drugstore is very very on point with mascaras in my opinion so the first one that i really really enjoy is the maybelline lash sensational mascara i have all mine in black and just non-waterproof because i don't really need it um this is the brush here it does have a slight curve um some people don't like this because it does dispense a lot of product onto your eyelashes. So if you don't like that, you probably won't like this, but I really, really enjoy it. And the packaging is absolutely gorgeous. I love the shade of pink. And then the other one that I love, the writing's basically rubbed off it. This is the Max Factor Masterpiece Glamour Extensions 3-in-1 Volumizing Mascara. This one is quite the opposite to the Maybelline one. Um, this one doesn't dispense too much product onto your lashes, which is also really, really nice. Um, this one does have quite a unique wand. Um, and yeah, I just like those two. Now I do have two primers that I absolutely adore. So the first one is the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Primer. This one's really, really nice if you want a dewy finish to your skin. It's really, really nice. And if you're wanting to perfect your pores or fill in your pores, I really, really enjoy the Inoxa Skin Perfecting Pore Vanishing Cream. Now don't get me wrong, you do not get a lot of product in this at all. You only get 10 mil, but it is a very, very nice pore filling cream. For foundation, I won't go too in-depth about them because I do have um, first impressions on two of the three foundations. But the first one that I'll recommend if you want a long-wearing foundation is the Max Factor Facefinity All Day Flawless 3-in-1 Foundation with SPF 20. If you're significantly pale or fair-skinned, I should say, with a yellow undertone, this is really, really good. This is what I use when I'm at my fairest. Um, and I have mine in the shade Crystal Beige. I do need to get a darker one for when I have a more dark fake tan. Um, another foundation which is exactly the same, in my opinion, is the CoverGirl Outlast 3-in-1 foundation. I don't know, it's got the turquoise lid. Um, they're both made by PNG, so I highly doubt they're very, they're different at all. But yeah, that's also a good one. Another one that I really, really like is the L'Oreal Magic Lumi foundation. This is a very, very glowy foundation, but it does sit very, very well on the skin and it does blend out very, very nicely. I do have first impressions of this as well, so I'll link it down below. And then this one here is the Bourjois Happy Light Foundation. This one I really, really love. Um, it's just very, very good coverage. It lasts a long time and it does have quite good um, coverage. Did I already say that? and good blendability, there we go. Anyway, that's really nice as well. Definitely give those a check out if you're in the market for a new foundation. For concealer, can I pick anything else besides the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer? Seriously, this stuff is bomb. I probably have like five or six of these in my house. Um, they're just really, really good concealers. They're good for underneath the eyes. If you get the right color, they're good for blemishes. They're good for highlighting. They're good for concealing. They're just really, really good overall. So yeah, highly recommend all of the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealers. Oh my god, did you guys see that? Whoa, okay. <laughs> to set my under eyes, I love this powder. I've only recently discovered it to set underneath my eyes, but I really, really do enjoy it. This is the Maybelline Matte Maker. I have mine in the shade Classic Ivory, and I really, really enjoy it to set my under eyes. This is not good as a setting powder all over the face, at least for myself, but to set underneath my eyes, it does set the under eye quite well. I don't experience it creasing. I don't experience fading. It doesn't make my concealer too dark either, and it doesn't make my concealer go all patchy and whatnot. So I really, really like this as an under eye setting powder. For the face, 
My favourite has to be the Bourjois Healthy Balance Press Powder. Um, the shade 53 is amazing for if you're fake tanned, in my opinion. And yeah, overall this is just an amazing powder. I have so many in my house. They're really, really good. For bronzer, I have two. So if you want a bronzer that gives you a bit more of a sheen to the skin, I love this Models Prefer... What's this called? Soft Touch Glow 2 is the shade. Um, it's basically got three shades of product. Um, you've got Luminous Glow, you have Soft Focus, and then you have Cool Bronze. I like mixing these two shades together to get an amazing all-over face glow. And then sometimes I'll mix these two together and use it as a blush as well. It's a very, very good multi-purpose product. I really, really like that. I love it so much that the writing's starting to rub off the front. And then if you want more of a satin bronzer, this is not matte, but it is more of a satin bronzer in my opinion. The Physicians Formula Bronzer, or what's it called? Physicians Formula Glow Boosting Pressed Bronzer in the shade Light Medium. I haven't tried the dark, medium dark, but light medium, I really, really enjoy. It's really, really good. It's probably my favorite drugstore bronzer. For eyeshadow palettes, I cannot recommend these enough. These are the essence all about eyeshadow palettes. I have all four of them. They have a nude, a smoky, a bronze, and a rose palette. So I think that no matter what you're after, you should be able to find one in the line. Seriously, these are so pigmented. My favorite has to be either the nudes, if you want a little bit of shimmer, but you still want some mattes, that's a really, really good one. Or if you love more neutrals, but you have a lot of mattes already in your collection, the bronze one is really, really good also. This is all shimmery shades, but seriously, they are so bomb, like so incredibly bomb. Like look at this, like seriously. And they blend amazing on the eye as well. Like it's not just that they swatch good, like they blend good as well. For eyebrows, unfortunately, I don't have a favorite um, eyebrow pencil from Priceline, but I do have my favorite brow gel from Priceline, and this one is the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper. I have mine in the darker tone. I really, really like this because the wand is quite small. The, the color of the gel isn't too opaque, but it's not too sheer either. It does give the perfect balance of color. Um, don't get me wrong, I personally still need to fill in my eyebrows when I use this, um, but if you do have more thick eyebrows, you can probably go in with this alone, but I don't do that. For lip liners, I have two. Um, so the Essence ones are amazing. They're like $2 or $2.50. They're so amazing. They're really, really good. And with the sale, they'll probably be like $1.50, I think. So, so good value. These are super, super creamy though. Like these are so, so creamy. They don't last a long time, but they do do the job of lining your lips. Um, so if you're just lining your lips to apply red lipsticks or something like that. Um, but if you need something that's more long lasting, I would recommend these ones from L'Oreal. These are the Lip Couture or Lip Liner Couture by Color Riche. And the two shades that I love are Boyus de Rose, which is this one, which is number 302. And this one here, which is called Beige Anu, I think. And the number is 630. These are amazing nude shades. I love them so much. These are very, very long lasting. These ones are more super, super creamy for if you just want to get the job done. For lipstick, I guess, if you could call it even that. Um, my favorites are from Maybelline. These are the Color Drama kind of jumbo pencil things. They are so amazing. This one here is in the shade Nude Perfection, which is very, very similar to Velvet Teddy, apparently, people say, which is that one there. And then this one here is called Red Essential. I feel like these are just very, very pigmented and they just glide on the lips amazingly. You don't need a lip liner with them because they're already a jumbo pencil. They're just really, really good. And lucky last, I'm going to talk about eyeliner. So I do have a liquid, a pen, and a pencil to show you guys. My favorite liquid eyeliner is from Bourjois, and it is their Liner Clubbing Eyeliner, which is the weirdest name. It really agitates me. I have mine in the black shade. The reason why I like it is because the tip is so incredibly thin. Like, can you see that? Can you see that? Like, so incredibly thin. Like, oh my god. Like, you can get a thick line, you can get thin lines. It really just depends on you, but I really, really like the brush tip applicator on that one. Then my favorite eyeliners are from Australis. These are their, what's this called? 10 hour waterproof eye pencils. This is in the shade Bontastic Bronze. It's super, super pigmented, like, like seriously, so pigmented. Definitely worth the money. They're super, super creamy. You still have a little bit of play time with them and then they will set and they won't budge. I love them so much. Well, I love that so much. I only own one shade. <laughs> 
And my favorite eyeliner pen is this one from L'Oreal and it's called their Super Liner Perfect Slim. I love this for if I just want to lay a little thin line across my lashes um, so I can place my eyelashes on top. Um, it just creates an amazingly perfect line and I like how it can also do the point of my wing quite sharp as well. Um, yeah, I love it. Like, like you can do a thin line or you can do like thick lines. It really just depends on how you feel. And I feel like they don't dry out too fast either. Okay guys, so that is all my drugstore favorites that you can purchase at Priceline. At least off the top of my head, these are the products that I think of when people are asking for drugstore recommendations. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give it to like and subscribe. It helps me out so much. You guys have no idea. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.